Hey there, welcome back guys. In this video we're going to show you how to update the Tascam Porta Capture 8 or no one else known as the X8. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. You're going to need a USB-C cable and of course the link which is right down below to the software slash firmware update and make sure it's connected to your computer. So what we want to do is plug it in to the USB-C drive right here. See, um, sometimes it clicks. I thought it was going to, yeah. It doesn't go in all the way. Um, and then you'll turn it on. Okay. And once it turns on, uh, in the meantime, we can go here and, and download our firmware. As you can see, the Porta Capture X8. Um, I usually call it the Porta Capture 8. And right here. So you want the latest firmware, which is 91824, which was just a few days ago. And we'll go here, click on the download. It'll download into your downloads folder. If you have a little folder, click there or just go to the directory to wherever your downloads are. Okay, and then we'll just click on the Porter Capture file and then it'll just self extract. Okay, and then here we go, we'll open it. Uh, and it's right here. This is the one you want, the first one with the hashtag. See that? Porter X80213.200. So now, how do we get it on there? Well, what you do is you go here, see right there on the SD card, click on the SD card, and it's you see it looks like it's connecting via USB-C, and it should appear on your desktop, whether it's Mac or PC, it doesn't matter. The, I think, believe the process is the same, as long as you can access that utility folder, which is what we're gonna do when we go in here. So see the X8 folder? There we go. See the utility folder? So now just, um, we already have one in there, but yours folder should look like this, empty. And if it's empty, uh, what you'll do is you'll take this one right here and just uh, drag it in. And if you have anything in there, be sure to empty the trash because you might have the previous firmware up in there um, from before and then just delete it because it'll just always be in the trash whenever you load the SD card and it'll just like attached to it, uh, tethered. All right, so as you can see, this is it right here, our latest firmware. So we can close uh, this one right here and then we can close that right there and then we can disconnect from the computer. You could either eject it, but in this case, we're just gonna streamline the experience and just do it through the um, device itself. Okay, so here we go, disconnect. And now that we're disconnected, what we want to do is take out the USB-C cable. And after we take it out, what we're going to do is we can put our phone over here. Um, we will shut the unit off, okay? And once you shut it off, wait like three seconds, one, two, three. That's me, that's plenty of time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the home button and the record button at the same time as you turn it on. So as soon as you turn it on, you get your two fingers, right? ready for there. And if you could do like that, that's great. But for me, I'm just going to do like that. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on and press the home and record. And remember, you, my, I'm holding those two buttons down. See? And voila. So that we now have this screen right here. So I'm going to press the mark key. It says, please push mark key. And then please push mark key. Press it again. And it's going to be erasing. So now it's going to erase that. It'll take like maybe three to four minutes, but in the meantime, I'll keep you entertained because we are going to um, do an upgrade too. On top of the software upgrade, we're gonna do a hardware upgrade too. The Tascam AKB21 Bluetooth adapter. Check that out, the Bluetooth adapter. So that'll allow us to control this wirelessly. I can be sitting here and recording the audio from over there and maybe I want to do ASMR or change the other settings to podcast and um, you don't want to get up. Well, you can do it from your phone because sometimes certain ambiences, if you have the mic attached or if you, um, whatever it is, you just don't want those extra sounds. This will, um, or just a convenience, you know, you just don't want to get up. Um, so let's see what we have here. This is the Bluetooth, if you've been following me, I've actually had this for over a year and I kept promising to make a video and here it is one year later. Um, see, kind of neat. Um, keep, I guess I'll keep the box and add it to the other collection of boxes. Hmm, interesting. I guess I'll put this back in there. See, it's still going, it's erasing, it's at 50%. Uh, don't worry, it'll, uh, it'll work. Um, Put this in there. I guess I'll put this box somewhere back there a little bit later. Um, and you know, you never know. I can't return it since it's been over a year. 
But this kind of reminds me of the wireless card for the ratio. If you have, if you have a sprinkler system at home, this looks like the one you put in, but then I, um, I actually upgraded the, the system and, and put in um, some other one that it just has a built in, but this, if it, there was like a $40 chip you can buy for your, I think it was Rainboard, and then I upgraded to Raccio, but it's similar. This is like just a small wireless uh, uh, Bluetooth card, so you can access. I think the other one is Wi-Fi. So that's this right here. And then you also want to download the, um, the uh, Tascam application, okay? Um, so let's see what we have here. Tascam, I believe you have to type in Porta. It's Porta Capture X. That's the name of the application. We'll find it for you. Uh, we'll just go to a new here. Uh, well, actually, let's go to, too bad it's not on their website. I'm sure it's somewhere on their site, uh, but we can find it inside of the App Store. Uh, let's see what we have here. So we'll go here, go to search. Oops. Porter Capture. See, and there it is right there. So what I'll do is I will leave you guys a link to this. Let's see if we can copy the link. Yep. And we'll have two links here and, and they'll be in the show notes slash description down below. So the app. If you, if you want to add the Bluetooth, remember you need this or just the software uh, firmware upgrades. As you can see, it's comparing. So it's not going to change any of your settings. You're not, it's not going to override anything, which is just great. Um, so I'll have everything has is and has was. Uh, so like you're just getting a firmware update. Um, see, it's powering off. And when it powers off, that means we are good to go. You just have to turn it back on. It's not going to reboot. It simply powers off. So now when we turn it on, and let's see see and there we are and to check to see if we have general settings system and i believe uh, let's go to we don't want to initialize it we want to go to i guess maybe information um let's see system see and that's our latest build firmware 2.00213 and the hardware, of course, we haven't changed it, so that stays the same. All right, so there we go. Voila, we did it, we upgraded. Now let's uh, insert this uh, Bluetooth card reader. So that, I believe, goes in here. Okay, and then now we're just gonna go here and insert that into, I believe it goes like that, see? And now, uh, I believe it should, ah, we have to activate it. Okay, and then in order to activate it, we're just going to go here to general and then uh, other settings and you see Bluetooth, it's off. And now we're going to click remote control. See, and now it's flashing, it's flashing because it needs to be found. Um, let me just go back. So now that we've activated it, and I would shut it off too if you're not going to be using it so you don't um, eat up your batteries. Uh, so now, hold on one second. I'm just going to go to my device right here. Of course, shut that off. And go to camera, video. Let's see. So we can just do one, two, three. So I can sync it. And now, let's see. All right, so now we're just going to go to the port. So just type, if you have it downloaded, just type in Porta, P-O-R, and then it'll just self-populate. And then we're going to select the connect button. Okay, and then in settings, you probably want to turn on your Bluetooth, as you can see. And um, I believe, let's see what we have here. Now it should, it says now connecting. Any minute, any day. It's still flashing, which is a good thing. Nice, they even updated the build to this, which is 2.0, and there we go. So if you watch the screen here, I'll, I'll slide this over a little bit so that we have room on the other side for this one right here. So we can just put it in the other window. And look, watch, see how if I move it? Oh, you can't see it move, but I guess it doesn't like control the screen, but let's say if I wanna go into this screen, and then if you wait a little bit, it should do it, see where it goes, it moved it, nice. And now if I go back to Let's see, launcher, see, 
but it doesn't move the scroll wheel. Uh, ASMR, it'd be like, hi, how are you? I didn't like this video. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't. Uh, save the wrapper. <laughs> Apparently those videos get like millions of views though. Um, maybe I'll do one like that and save the wrapper. And then for me, I like, I kind of, these are my settings here. I go mo uh, main and then here, and then I go to um, either home or input, input, you know, so I can see my levels. But as you can see, see the mic is right there, which is just awesome. And then you, you just control it from there. You decide what settings you might want. Um, you know, that might work right for you or, or might not, you know, you can change it on or just watch. You want to see those levels, you know, like you, you don't want to always keep checking on your mic, uh, you know, to see what's happening. And um, let me just go back here to the launcher. And, you know, there's some other features. This mic has a lot of interesting podcast feature, as you can see. You know, if you're doing a podcast, it just has the audio presets for you so that you don't have to adjust it like you would in a DJI mic. And as if you've ever seen my live show, this mic is phenomenal. I don't use it. Um, I only I use the DJI mic for DJI mic, and then I use um, this for the other. But you could probably could I probably could connect it directly, but I, I it's always connected to the computer. Um, and then if we go back here, see podcast, so that you have your audio set for the podcast, and go back to launcher. And let's see what else is there. You know you have the metronome for music. And, you know and again you decide which ones you want. Um, and that's pretty much it. You know this was a really quick uh, tutorial, and I hope that. This video helped you and you have a better understanding of what you could do um, or what you can do with the latest firmware update that you want to push to your Tascam machine. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.